uh, Brooklyn Ferry Landing. Um, so this is where the American Army um, embarked during the night uh, in 1776, um, and this is when the turn of the war started to happen. So here we are uh, at the bottom of this and the Brooklyn Bridge. The museum that talked about like, the bridge and all, and they talked about the history of the bridge, like where it started from where it is now, and how, how the how it socially changed. I feel like we got to learn more about the suffering of the bridge and like, you know, yeah. the problems that were happening during that time. Like there's been a lot of progression, but there's still so much that we have to fill in for gaps. Like the, uh, there's not a lot of awareness for these workers. Here we are in Brooklyn at the corner of Cranberry and Hicks Street. This is a very interesting site that some members of our team are going to share with you right now. So this is Washington's house, and this is where he, where this is where John passed his father, and this is also his office where he like worked on engineering stuff for the Brooklyn Bridge. John got his foot uh, smashed by a uh, carriage and uh, it got infected and he tried doing water therapy to cure it but it did not work so he died. We are at the plaque of Emily Warren Roebling on the Brooklyn side of the bridge. On the other side, there's a plaque which is um, in memory of the engineers of the bridge, and they failed to mention the fact that Emily was a contributing engineer, and she actually was the chief engineer, the one who finished off the bridge when the others couldn't. So I just feel like it is very unfair, and this is why we have to tell her story because no one exactly knows that Emily was the engineer of the that's why we have to bring this story to life and we have to tell it as best as we can through the yeah. It's just so empowering. This woman in the 1800s, like went to law school and was like a great mathematician and just took so much like empowerment and a big role in such a, like the progress of women in this time was not a lot and she just denied all that and you know, like was a chief engineer for this, and it's just like, and we've pro we've like went through a lot of progress, but like compared to like before, she had a lot of bravery to do that. Emily Warren is a hero that no one knows, and it's our job to make sure we know her name and that other people know the name Emily Warren. So I feel like this plaque gives off like a lot of symbolism of like how the bridge like came to what it is. I'm at the base of the Brooklyn Bridge and we are thinking of ideas for the show. Um, thinking of poems, getting inspiration, thinking of dialogue. Here we are at the base of the Brooklyn Bridge. We have someone else who joined us today. Hi, I'm Josh. Um, I'm a writer and I'm also an actor and singer. Okay, so today we finished like our trip of the Brooklyn Bridge. Walk them. So on a recap of everything we've done today, we just, um, we like sat at the piers and then we went to the historical museum of Brooklyn and then we walked the bridge and came here and wrote about the play and I'm really excited about everything turning out because we got a lot of information and we, we kind of experienced a little the history of Brooklyn in time, it was really cool. I personally have never been on the Brooklyn Bridge, I always see books or maps. And um, I researched it, and I know all this information, 
and now it was really nice to just see like all this information I know come to life and I can see it in real life and it's very beautiful and I lived in New York all my life and I'm happy I got to experience this.